In our first story, we're going to meet the bayou. Well, not the place, a person. You see, Bayou is the nickname of musician Shannon Wilford. He and his friends spend a lot of time bringing blues to the schools. Rob Wiles caught up with Bayou and company at a school in Nashville, where they were given a music lesson that includes geography, history, and even a little math and science. Well, it's Wednesday afternoon at Wright Middle School here in Nashville, and it sure is quiet. Middle school kids are usually a lot louder than this. Uh, that's more like it. How y'all are? I'm glad for y'all to see me. What's the first day of the week? Monday. Monday. Oh, Monday. Monday. Thank you very much. That's a blues song. Shannon Williford should know. He's been playing and singing since he was a kid. He got his nickname Bayou when he gained fame as a singer of traditional Cajun music. Now, he and his pals, known as Bayou and the Degradables, travel to schools teaching kids about a type of music they may never have heard of, the blues. Bentley Caldwell, the newest degradable, says it's all about roots. Blues is like the grandma mama <laughs> of all American music. You know, it all came out of the, the blues chord progression, the blues stories. So we just go in and, and teach the kids about that, you know, about where their music came from, you know, because every kid knows rap music, but they don't know that rap started with blues. You know, every kid knows country music because it's Nashville, but they don't know that country music started with blues. Well, blues was born in the South, so it's not surprising that it influenced other singers and songwriters from the South, like, say, Jimmy Rogers. He from Texas, he from Tennessee. Who grafted mountain music onto blues roots and became the father of country music. Well, what about rock and roll? Oh, I don't know, maybe you've heard of a rocker. He was called uh, Presley. Elvis was born in Mississippi, so naturally the blues influenced what he sang. Rock and roll! Okay, but what about rap? I mean, surely not rap. But Bayou says he can trace rap back to a blues singer, too. Come here, baby. Scratching my back. There was a guy named Slim Harpo playing the blues down in Louisiana. Lots of history here. Disguised under a supersized scoop of fun. Hey, I'm itching. And I don't know where to scratch. Even teachers like Sandra Rodriguez get into the act. Now, Sandra is a science teacher who says learning about the blues isn't just a history lesson. Music is like energy the sound energy, and they learn how the waves go uh, from one place to another through music. So I have a, a, a teacher who comes to my classroom and play the guitar, and the, the students understand and tell, okay, what type of energy do we have here? And they say kinetic, and they say elastic, and they say sound energy. There's a lot of energy in this room, and even though the blues was born from hard times, Bayou says every young person should learn about what is perhaps truly American music. The blues came from so much pain and suffering in the South. See, if you live in the South, this is sacred ground. There was pain and suffering here that we as a nation are still trying to recover from. And that was the beginning of the blues, and yet the blues led to all of this music that now people live all over the world and listen to rock and roll, country, R&B, right up to rap. 
Plus, it's fun. Right. Hey, 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 the blues is all right. Hey, 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 the blues is all right. Hey, 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 the blues is all right. We just want y'all to remember, the blues came from right here in the South. It came from great pain and great trouble, and yet it led to all the music that people listen to all over the world. That's why the blues is all right. It's all right. 